Good day guys. Today I'm going to show you how to blend objects with your document. So uh, it is important to make your document more uh, presentable and let's say elegant in appearance. So one thing to consider with working with objects is you have to consider your margins. So as much as possible, do not um, do not allow your objects to step outside the margin so it will not defeat the purpose of the margin the first example that I'm going to discuss is how to insert an object so to, to insert an object you go to insert tab and then under the illustrations you can select different types of objects also you can insert uh, word art uh, text box and equations and symbols so in this example I'm going to use a picture which is a transparent picture of a woman so meaning when I say transparent this portion of the picture is uh, blank and this frame indicates how big the picture is so uh, to work with pictures especially with this type of pictures you need to maintain <coughs> the proportion of the picture when you resize it so when you resize a picture like this you have to maintain the proportion of the picture so it will not get distorted so in this selected object you can see eight resize handles so one two three four five six seven eight so you have the option to use the all these handles to resize the picture but if you use the corner and uh, now the side handles you can distort the pictures and it will not be appropriate so if in order for you to preserve the proportion of a picture when you resize a picture just select one of the corner handles corner handles and then while you resize while you drag um, the handles to resize the picture hold down the shift key to maintain its proportion so you will not be distorting the picture so say for example I'm resizing this object to this size so when you release or you finish your resize you, you achieve the desired size you release the mouse button first before you you release the shift key so in this case I'm I will not be needing the extra space of this picture so I can use the crop option or crop tool to remove the unnecessary portion of this picture so for example uh, this and basically in this part I don't necessarily need to crop this area but let me show you how the crop tool works so crop tool is used to eliminate uh, unnecessary part of your picture so with this um, the picture is already shaped according to uh, the desired output so what I'm going to do is to blend this picture with the text so it will not be uh, 
empty in this portion so I'm going to set it to square and then I'll drag it to the right part of the document so this time so if you want to crop the, the upper part you can reuse the crop tool so we can drag it So what I would like to emphasize is the different text wrappings of uh, Microsoft Word that interacts with your object. So we have square, we have type. We just try to explore and experiment the difference between these types of wrappings. So say for example I'll ch choose type or if you want to get this as the background or set this as the background of your document then set it behind or if you want to put it on top of your text but you have to be careful because some part of the text won't be readable so the best option will be setting the wrapping to type okay so the problem is we have text uh, in this part of the picture overlapping this part of the picture so in order for you to change that you click on the image and then select on edit wrap points so you can change the wrapping points of the image of the picture so you can avoid the text from going you can have more control of the appearance of the pictures like that so once you have it you can apply um, appropriate styles for the picture say for example this one or you can uh, select a customized option for the styles so this is how you work with objects in and pictures in document you can also rotate the pictures if you need to you can flip the pictures horizontally this way so the same goes with shapes if I'm going to insert a shape on the document and then apply wrappings the same setting applies so for example I don't want this text to appear in this area so I'll just edit the wrapping points to avoid the text from appearing this part of the document Okay, so as you can see, um, the format tab only appears when you select an object. So this is a shape or uh, a shape. So it will the drawing tools format tab will appear if you select a picture. The picture tool format tab will appear because they have different formatting options. So I think for this activity you need to explore to spend more time to explore with the different tools on how to work with objects and shapes just try to explore the possibilities of uh, the shapes and objects 
and blending with your documents for the objects you can set pictures as background of this object so here for example under the fill format shape you can select picture um, or texture fill and then you select file and then look for the object and then wait for it to get inserted this is our finished product that's it guys make sure to spend more time to explore on the different possibilities of working with objects and pictures so for the bonus part i'm going to show you how to efficiently work with objects especially when aligning organizing your object so in this case i'm going to show you an example of an organizational chart so let me insert a new canvas in working with objects especially in microsoft word canvas is optional but if in this case we are going to make an organizational structure so we will be needing connectors we need to draw a canvas because connectors will not work outside a canvas for the organizational structure you need text inside the shapes so you don't need to draw another text box on top of the shape just to insert text so all you need is to right click on the shape and then select add text so you will be adding the text directly inside the shape to create the same shape exactly as it is we can use copy and paste so before i do that let me select uh, style and then resize it to make an exact replica of the shapes just use copy and paste while you are inside the canvas you can easily select the objects inside that's the one of the advantage of of the canvas so what I'm going to do is to distribute these three objects um, evenly on the canvas. So what I'm going to do is to adjust the object across the canvas and then select all three. And then on the format tab, you just need to look for um, the align tool and then look for distribute horizontally. Microsoft Word will distribute these objects horizontally for you. So you don't need to manually and approximately distribute these objects evenly and then we'll just align the objects to top and that's it we already have uh, the three objects aligned in seconds so the next step is to just say for example we have three vice president say for example we have a bp for operations uh, vp for sales and another vp for admin and then we need to add connectors so just select an elbow connector when you are inside the canvas and then you select an elbow you are activating the connectors button so when you hover on top of an object inside the canvas you will be able to see four connector button so this is where you connect the edges of the connector here for example i'm going to use the arrow to connect the vp cell so it indicates that this object is not properly aligned with the objects on top so we'll fix that later so i'm going to connect this to this and or if you want to apply style to the line or to the arrow first and then just need to copy it and then drag the the other end to the first connector and then the other end to the other connector of the other shape and then same goes to the other shape and there you have properly aligned and connected objects so what is the effect of the connectors or what is the advantage of a connector is when you drag the objects connected with connectors connectors will move together with the object so you don't need to readjust the the connectors as you move the object so that is the important or the advantage of using connectors i think that's all guys i hope you learned a lot from this video and if you want to learn more it's up to you so be sure to give time to explore the different tools and features of Microsoft Word because for me it is the foundation of all applications. Thank you.